Now this is the shout. The shout that brought you out. There was this man named Blind Bartimaeus. You know the story. And Blind Bartimaeus was, he was uh, wondering, what's all this noise? You know, he's blind, he can't see, so all he hears, all these people go by, so he taps him like, he said, what's all this noise? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth is yeah. coming. He said, Jesus that heals people? Amen. Jesus that, that opens the eyes to the blind? He didn't go like this, he didn't do a little charismatic move. <laughs> Uh, yes, Lord. The king. Yes, Lord. He didn't do something Lutheran. <laughs> he said, Jesus! Yes. Jesus! Yes. And all the people said, shut up! Yes. And the Bible said, the, when they told him to shut up, he went louder. Jesus! Yes. And it was a, now watch this. And it was a crowd, Greg. It was a crowd. And Jesus heard him. It was a whole crowd. Everybody had knees, but ain't nobody, nobody got his attention. They all just following. Probably their legs falling off. Crooked back. And they following him. But this blind guy that they told to shut up got louder. See, I'm telling you, when the devil tries to shut you down, you need to shut him up. And said, What you want? Then they said, Listen, he's calling for you. He went like this. I thought so. Shook them, shut up his offer. Went down there and got his miracle. I tell you, there's a shout that's going to bring you out. I got to do this one. I got to do this one quick. There's a shout that makes your enemies die. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 4. This is going to be good. But before we go that, we remember Lazarus. Here he is. How many of you have been bound up? You know, and you know, and, and some of you have a pastor that don't whisper. Amen. I, I know. So here's Lazarus, he's door not dead, and he stinks, and he's in a tomb. Jesus goes over there, and he, th he says, move the stone out of the way. And he doesn't say, go get him. The Bible says, Jesus, with a loud voice, said, Lazarus, come forth. And he said, he that was dead. trumpeting today with a loud voice. Come forth. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what the enemy has you entangled in. Hear the voice of God. He's got a whisper. He's saying, come forth. And the assignment of the people around him was loose him and let him go. Because even after you come forth, you still got to get loose. Well, you're about to die. We're not going to pray for you. You're about to die. 
shit just went straight to the hospital. Niggas say, go to the go to church before you go to the hospital. Might just be gas. So here's this man all propped up, crypt up, and he seen the the, the, the the apostles Peter and, and John, and he looked at them, hoping to get some money, and they said, silver and gold, not by none. But such as I have, give I unto thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. They took that man, give me your hand. Come on, today. They took him and knocked him up on the wall his lap, and his feet got shaken. And the Bible says he went leaping. I couldn't do that before, thank you. You can tell I was doing 360 dunk this morning. My knees just can't carry the weight on landing. Come on now. He was running and leaping and praising God. You're not quiet about deliverance. He don't shut you down. You don't have no idea what I'm going Shut me, shut me down. Amen. That's why I think women have a better, a better chance. Right, listen, fellas, I need some time. Don't let me rush your place here. Women have a better chance because they love to talk. So when God do something, everybody gonna know. A guy, he get delivered. Men, somebody you would not want to meet. Come on, they'll cut your throat if you didn't praise God right. Yeah. And you won't call yourself a man, you're gonna be like, praise God. Amen. 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 You better get right Amen. and shout loud. If God gave you an Adam's apple, well, you might as well use it. Amen. I'm married and my wife raises her voice at times, and then when she hears mine, there's a there's a compromise. How long do you really think you can go? She tried, and then guess what happened? <laughs> I go, thought so. Nobody can make as much noise as a Christian. Why do you think they want to shut you up? I'm trying, I gotta get it. See, you know, this way you think, y'all might think I'm knocking you or getting on you if you're quiet. You know, the Bible says, you know, for you to have a meek and a quiet spirit, you know, that's in the right place. That's between you and man. But between you and God and the devil, I can't be mean. I can't be quiet. I got to be loud. The enemy needs to know I'm here. And people want to criticize you, Lord. You know, they ain't saying they shouldn't be shouting like that. How are you going to get out? I don't want to get out. Now that's not Say you get arrested, right? Right? And you're innocent. You ain't going to shout. You ain't going to shut up. You ain't going to say, well, you're going to Right? Yeah, right. But if you know you don't belong in prison, get me out of here. Your mother coming in. Where you going? Well, you know, we're going. No, you're not. Get me out of here. I'm going to scream to the end of the hand of the first one. Get me out. If so you haven't been in prison, what do they want you to do? They want you to shut up and do your time. Just shout. Make them kill you. But right down on the wall, I was innocent. Don't make a difference. Oh, yes, it does. We have a God that can hear. 